And we continue with Back to the Future. I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm trying to process here. What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds! Before my dad calls the cops. The cops? We own the cops! The Tanning Gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. You don't believe me? Yes, no! Bang! Ha ha! Check it out. To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Ooh. Okay, but... Biff, what happened to you? When I left here, you were kind of afraid of my dad. Afraid? <laughs> <laughs> no Tannen ain't never been afraid of no McFly. Question. There we go. Where do these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. It's called the birds and the bugs, butthead. Ooh. Okay, tell More me this. questions. Ooh. Okay, tell me More this. More questions. Ooh. Tell me. You've been coming down to my dad like this. Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. <laughs> Shut up, it's not funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. I got a question. Did I get run out of town? Two years ago. Don't you remember? We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back, so the kid gloves can come off. <coughs> Here's what I still don't understand. already? Even better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. Ooh. Okay, tell me this. No more questions. Ooh. Here's what I still don't understand. What about my mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us. Guess she has a thing for losers. She could have had any one of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. And another thing. What are you guys doing here anyway? It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. We usually take the payment in cash, but this month we could take it out of your hide. I was wondering. Don't. Okay. Hand it up. Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. They back. The thing with the manure truck. Which one? Ooh. Okay, tell me no this. No more questions. 
I was wondering. Don't. Let me ask. Shut it. What do I do? Oh, there we go. Let me ask. Shut it. Let me ask. Shut it. Okay. No more quick. I was wondering. Don't. I was wondering. Don't. Let me ask. Shut it. Okay, tell me no this. No more questions. There we go. Piece of cake. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Oh, yeah. Ah! Marty, get in. This timeline's been compromised. No kidding. Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kit Tan to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Jeez, ah, grab the arcade. We gotta go back to the day Kid Tannen was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. Going back to 1931, I believe. Uh. My phone is getting pretty close to dying. Really? Yeah. So maybe after, maybe this might be your last part for now, and then I have to charge my phone. Okay, Doc. Let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kit Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole. The same <sighs> one picks his truck. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tannen will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens, condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. You need to go back into Tannen's speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? <laughs> oh my god. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been blasted over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. Alright, let's 
we gotta get into the speakeasy. Alright, let's do this. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy, am I right? There's Edna. Uh, no? At least you possess enough shame to lie about it. Unfortunately, right. I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. You saved us. Right. What in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, oh, Sonny. Sonny? Mr. Crockett, what are you doing in that getup? It's just my new look. I'm trying to prove that you can dress like a gangster without being a gangster. You know? How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. Then you will have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket? Hey, Cody, uh, my phone is about to die. Oh. Uh -huh. So, I guess we have to say goodbye to Cody for now, but he'll be, he'll be back later in this Let's Play. See you, man. See yeah. ya. Bye. Alright, so. True. Oh, water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ivy and I have been up to. Famous last words. Alright. Now, where's that speakeasy? Alright. So I have no idea what just happened because I was checking on my phone, but that's okay. We, I, I do know we have to go behind the. Soup kitchen. Here we go. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. All right. Let's find out what we have to do next. Who died? and make you boss. Boss, huh? What will you do if there's a raid? Read a book? Take a hike, squirt. I have no idea what to do. Hold on. Weird. Who is the king of Siam? I'm sorry about that. Euronymous Bosch? God! Who told you to come here? Bruce Springsteen? Okay, I'm gonna figure this out and I'll uh, come back to when we come back.